Um, my name is Clint Malarchuk. I'm a former NHL hockey goaltender. Um, grew up around horses and farming and ranching, and uh, I'm a suicide survivor, a mental health advocate. Um, I've lived in uh, degrees of pain through a lot of my life, but I'm here today uh, happy, healthy, productive, and feel like I'm in a, in a great place. Growing up, I also had obsessive compulsive disorder. Uh, fortunately, with that, I was able to funnel all that uh, into uh, obsessing about hockey. And I believe that, uh, that playing like I did, working like I did, got me uh, to the NHL level. March 22, 1989, we were, I was playing with the Buffalo Sabres, we were playing uh, St. Louis Blues and in the first period uh, I, I was kind of sliding across the net as a goalie trying to uh, cut off a pass and a guy got uh, upended and a skate came up and sliced my jugular vein. Um, you know, I, I, I thought I was going to die, I really believed it. You can read my lips in the video saying, am I going to live? You know, I finished that season uh, kind of on a high note because of the support and my adrenaline and it was kind of like a Buffalo hero uh, because of that gritty attitude to get back in. I, I wasn't sleeping, um, just uh, depression started to really sink in and I wasn't telling anybody because you're supposed to be tough. and. You know, that's, uh, that's just what we are supposed to be. And as an NHL goalie, you're supposed to be the rock. And so I was doing all this uh, silently. Well, my wife went through um, basically hell with me. Um, I, was, uh, I was in such a bad state before I, I tried to attempt suicide. Um, I was abusive verbally. I blamed her for everything. Uh, one thing I've learned now about PTSD is that uh, there's a lot of anger issues. And you usually vent at the ones you're closest to and love because they're going to take it, I guess. <laughs> it would start at like, um, like 2 in the afternoon. And at night, he would start obsessing and it would just ask, you know, why are you here? Why do you love me? You know, what's in it for you? And it was the same question, you know, same questions every night. And then the next day, it was like Groundhog Day. He'd do it all over again. And same question. And it, you, you could never give the right answer. To be honest with yourself, it is sometimes very hard because of the stigma attached to mental illness. And, uh, you know, once you can, like for me, finally accepting that I had PTSD, um, that, was, that was the first step of getting well. And, and for whatever reason, it was a hard step, but uh, it took courage for me to do that because it was almost like I was, um, you know, I, I was buying into that stigma of, this is a weakness, I, I'm not weak, uh, you know, I, I was a rock in Buffalo, you know? And once I figured out that it's not, a, you're, you're sick, you're not weak. Go learn about what you're dealing with. Um, if your spouse has, you know, depression, anxiety, um, bipolar, OCD, um, addiction, whatever the addiction is, drugs or alcohol, go learn about it. And it seems kind of silly, but learn about what it physically and mentally does. Because what I learned was everybody else's spouse that was going through this, they were doing and saying the same things my husband was. You're able to step back away from it and, and separate the two. You're able to look at what's happening to the person and inside the person and realize, okay, this is not them. This is the person I love, and this is the disease that's affecting them. Um, it, it's an illness. It, it's, it's, it's a sickness or an injury, and it's got nothing to do with uh, uh, your mental strength or anything like that. It takes courage to take that first step and look inwardly and say, yes, I do have a problem or I do need help, and get it. <laughs>